The 3rd of November 2021 marks the 110th anniversary of a pioneering flight from Penrith to Parramatta Park in 1911. The pilot was Australian aviator William Ewart Hart, known as Billy. The journey to Parramatta began at 6.30 in the morning, when Billy set out from Penrith in his Bristol box kite plane to have breakfast with his father, who lived near Parramatta Park in Wentworth Street. Navigating his way along the railway line, Billy flew a distance of 19 miles, or about 30.6 kilometres. He was accompanied by his younger brother, Jack, aged 16, who was very frightened during the flight and never wanted to fly again afterwards. Billy and Jack landed in Parramatta Park at the Cattle Paddock. A crowd rushed out in great surprise and excitement at the spectacle. After breakfast, Billy returned solo to Penrith without Jack. Billy Hart's flight made headlines around Australia and was the first recorded cross-country flight in New South Wales. But this wasn't the only record Billy broke in Australian history. Following the Penrith to Parramatta flight, Billy completed a series of flying tests to gain a pilot's licence issued by the Aerial League of Australia, becoming Australia's first licensed pilot. On the 30th of November 1911, Billy invited his sister Cassie Hart to fly with him, making her the first woman in New South Wales to fly as a passenger. And just to prove that pigs might fly, Billy also took a pig as a passenger, another first in Australia. In 1912, Billy won Australia's first aviation contest from Ascot Racecourse in Mascot to Parramatta Park against American daredevil Arthur Wizard Stone. Billy may be one of Australia's pioneering aviators, but here in Parramatta, he is considered a local hero. Billy was born on the 20th of April 1885 to parents William Henry Hart, a local timber merchant in Parramatta, and Maria Alice Hart. It is believed his birthplace was in the Hart family home on Darcy Street, Parramatta. Billy left school at age 16 to become an apprentice dentist under Mr. Maxwell of Parramatta. He became a registered dentist at age 21 and practised as a dentist in West Wyalong, New South Wales. Billy had an interest in vehicles and tinkering with engines. He is said to have ridden the first motorcycle and driven the first car in town. Billy moved back to Sydney and from 1910 to 1914 ran a car dealership in Market Street, Sydney. Billy's interest in cars and motorbikes led to a fascination with aeroplanes. On the 3rd of September 1911, he purchased one of two Bristol box kites that had been brought out to Australia that year by the British and Colonial Aeroplane Company and demonstrated by the New Zealand pilot Joseph Hammond. The plane cost £1,333, about $186,000 today. Billy received some instruction on how to fly it from British pilot Leslie MacDonald, but was largely self-taught. The box kite was primarily constructed of timber struts, linen and wire to be lightweight. It would not meet today's safety standards, with the pilot sitting on the edge of the lower wing in the open air. Unfortunately for Billy, while his aeroplane was parked on the ground, it was severely damaged when a strong wind picked up the aeroplane and blew it over. Billy salvaged what he could from the wreck and rebuilt the aeroplane using timber from his father's Parramatta timber yard. Billy leased an area of Belmore Park in Penrith for his aeroplane. He successfully made some short solo test flights. The fascinating sight drew a crowd as this was the first time many had ever seen an aeroplane. With growing confidence, Billy then undertook the cross-country flight that would make him famous, the Penrith to Parramatta flight. During his aviation career, Billy made more flights across Sydney and competed in air races. He also experimented, designed and built more planes, such as a two-seater monoplane. In 1912, Billy established Hart's Aviation Company and taught student aviators how to fly at his Penrith Field, moving a few months later to Richmond. In September that same year, Billy had a serious plane crash in Richmond and narrowly escaped death. He was in a coma for weeks with multiple fractures. Billy could no longer fly, effectively ending his aviation career. In the First World War, 
Billy served as a lieutenant in the number one squadron of the Australian Flying Corps in 1916, training fighter pilots in Egypt and Britain. However, he was diagnosed with epilepsy, which was most likely the result of the 1912 crash. He was classified as medically unfit and was discharged in September 1916. Billy returned to practicing dentistry. Always the innovator, he was an early adopter of using gas in dentistry. Alarmingly, to prove its effectiveness to another dentist, Billy extracted his sister Esma's two front teeth unnecessarily. William Hart passed away from a heart attack on the 29th of July, 1943, aged 58. The pioneer of powered flight is memorialized with a plaque in Parramatta Park that was erected in 1963, honoring his achievements in aviation. The plaque is located next to the cattle paddock where Billy landed on his 1911 Penrith to Parramatta flight. Billy Hart, Parramatta's flying dentist, we salute you. <laughs>